No, sorry, WEP will not be repealed. This is Ed Weir, retired district manager of the Social Security Administration. Uh, we help uh, people throughout the country navigate Social Security and Medicare. Give us a call if you, uh, you your friends, family, have any issues we can help with. All right, WEP GPO. I'm just going to stick with WEP. It's, uh, uh, they, they go hand in hand, obviously, but for simplicity's sake, let's go ahead and just uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just focus on WEP. All right. So, yeah, no, WEP is, uh, is I don't think it's going to be repealed. If you don't know what WEP GPO is, this video is not for you. Just go ahead and uh, um, go to some of our other videos. But uh, those who have been WEPT or will be WEPT or GPO'd, um, this is definitely for you. Uh, I give you my experience working inside Social Security for the last 20 years and uh, hearing 20 for 20 years that, uh, oh, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be repealed this year. It's going to be repealed next year. It's going to be repealed this year. It's going to be repealed next year. I've heard that for 20 years. It's uh, it's not going to happen. All right. So uh, I'm sorry to tell you, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, all right. So a, a couple of the uh, first thing um, in terms of political. The, the lobbyists, um, a couple of the arguments that are given, um, I don't think really stand up, um, come, uh, the, you know, the, the unfair. Um, it's unfair to the people that have paid into Social Security and their, their, their monthly benefit amount is going to be um, penalized. And uh, I'll talk about that. Um, again, this is going to be my most disliked video, but it is what it is. All right. So um, the political lobbyists say, well, you know, you are penalizing people who have chosen to be public servants, teachers and firemen and um, police officers. Um, and again, these are only I think what did in 2020 uh, WEP applied to three percent of all beneficiaries. So um, out of 64 million beneficiaries, only about a couple of million are wept. If the argument is this is, you know, this is, you know, hurting public servants who have given their, you know, their, their lives and their careers to helping the public. Well, that doesn't really stand, that really doesn't stand up because what about the other millions and millions and more millions and millions because it WEP only could you know, applies to what, 15 states and uh, particular, uh, some particular counties and cities. The vast majority of public servants, including myself, um, all federal employees since the 80s have paid into Social Security, um, teachers, firefighters, police officers, the vast majority of those throughout the country pay into Social Security and they are not wept. So, the idea that this is just a kick to public servants is not necessarily accurate. Um, so you're, it's, it's tough to make a political argument there. Um, in terms of fairness, I'm, I'm going to get to the fairness issue here in a moment. And the other argument that I hear quite often is um, that it's unfair to the people who are being wept because they are not able to plan. They are unaware of this, and they make their plans, and then they find out their 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 you know their benefits are reduced. Um, again, I worked for Social Security for a couple of decades. I've taken thousands and thousands and thousands of applications for people that will be wept, and not a single person in 20 years did not know that their benefits were going to be quote unquote reduced. OK, no, everybody knew nobody liked it. And everybody said, well, it's going to be repealed this year and next year because there's legislation and everybody got their hopes up high. But nobody, my personal experience, again, it's my personal experience. Um, if people don't know about WEP, then wherever they're working or they're doing a terrible job, whatever state they're working at or a municipality or county or whatever, they're doing a terrible job of telling their, you know, their, their employees about the whole web thing. So that doesn't really stand up either. All right. So um, let's get into why web was started in the first place. I'm going to get a little bit into the weeds and uh, we'll do a little comparison 
of someone that worked and paid into Social Security pretty much all their lives and someone that worked and did not pay into Social Security. Um, and before we get into that, let's talk about uh, uh, the fact that uh, um, that this is a, a reduction, a, a penalty that they're being penalized because they were public servants. Um, the how how the system works, how Social Security works, is when you file an application. What they do is they they look at your your work history, and they um, do the calculations. And but the issue is is with people that did not pay into Social Security, your earnings do not show up. So I've had again I've I've taken thousands of these applications. And someone walks in, let's say they're uh, a firefighter. I've, I've had uh, chiefs, uh, firefighter chiefs from Los Angeles, uh, different places. They were making a couple of hundred thousand dollars a year as the uh, chief of uh, some battalion or something. And But I look at their earnings record, their Social Security earnings record, and you know, they, you know, worked some part time here and there, and that's why they're qualified for Social Security. They worked, you know, in college and stuff. So they're qualified. But I look at their main earnings record and it's got decades of zero or decades of, you know, $1,000 a year, $2,000 a year here. And according to that, this is, this is why uh, Congress started this, is it's okay, if people are low income wage earners, they do not have a 401k, you know, they're barely able to survive pretty much all their lives, whatever the situation, they were on disability or homeless or, you know, whatever. Um, they don't have 401ks, they probably don't have any savings, um, they don't have any, you know, retirement, uh, you know, plans and, um, so Congress has determined that, okay, for those people, um, you know, to, to keep them out of poverty, that's what Social Security was started for, just to get people out of poverty. Um, we're going to give them a little bit more of a replacement value of what they paid into it. So we will give you more because according to your Social Security record, You've got a whole bunch of zeros there for for the 1960s, you know, all zeros. 1970s, you made a thousand dollars here and a few thousand dollars here. But the, for the rest of the 1970s, you made nothing. 80s, you made nothing. A few dollars, you know, here and there. So here is the low income wage earner that really needs the help. We're going to give you more, a percentage, a replacement value. And then the next person I have come in, for instance, is that retired. Um, chief, fire chief, that was making hundreds of thousands of dollars, but their earnings record looks exactly the same. This guy was, you know, 1970s, zeros, a few dollars here, a few dollars there. And I'm like, wait a second. Why should we give you more replacement value? Because you do have, you know, you, you're getting $10,000 a month from the city of Los Angeles um, as, as a retirement. You know, you're making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. You've got, you know, a few houses and you've got a nice little nest egg and stuff. Why should we give you uh, that extra benefit? So that's what Congress decided. They said, OK, you know, we're going to give extra benefit to the low income wage earner. Um, but they didn't really understand how the Social Security system works and how it's calculated and the computer system. WEP will eventually go away. But it will go away naturally. It will not be repealed, I believe. This is my personal because it won't be needed anymore. All right, so right now you get the statement. If you go to mysa.gov, you get the statement and it says, okay, when you retire, you will get X amount of money per month. And then right underneath it, it says in bold, letter, in bold letters, it says, unless you, know, you, you get a non-covered pension that we don't know about because some, particularly up until the 1980s, a lot of the states, cities, counties didn't tell Social Security that, you know, the, the, they, these places decided not to play with Social Security, so they didn't tell Social Security how much this person is going to receive. 
That changed in the 1980s. So if you look at, again, I've seen hundreds of thousands of people's earnings records and people that have um, uh, non-covered earnings up until the 1980s, it was zeros. So there's separate parts of the earnings record. There's what paid into Social Security and underneath it, non-covered earnings. So, but prior to the 1980s, when they passed the law, that wasn't, there were zeros. There's, there's nothing, there, those weren't reported. Eventually, as um, those uh, government organizations report earnings to Social Security, Social Security records will be updated. And um, when you get that letter, Social Security will already know that you have a non-covered pension and all the rest of it. So they won't have to kind of play fast and loose with the, with the numbers and say, okay, you're going to get a thousand dollars. But if you get this, we don't really know how much you're going to get because we don't have all the information in the future. Social security will have all the information. So they, when they generate the letter, the computer hopefully will be smart enough to say, okay, we do know how much you're receiving in non-covered earnings. And so here's your pension amount. Right now, they can't because the computer system hasn't been told. Social Security hasn't been told by the place you worked. And uh, so that's why there is this WEP thing. So it eventually will go away because it won't be needed anymore. and won't be repealed necessarily, legally, lawfully, um, politically, because it's unfair. I, I don't, again, this is my personal opinion. I don't think it will be, but it'll just... Eventually, the computer systems will be updated. All cities, states, municipalities, counties, whatever, will notify Social Security. So Social Security won't have to, you know, uh, tell you one thing and then, um, you know, give you a different amount because Social Security will have that information and they'll be able to uh, update their system. Is that too far down into the weeds? That's way down to the weeds. But let's get into a comparison of, uh, of someone that, paid into Social Security and another person that had non-covered pension. And this will kind of explain, hopefully, the, uh, um, the, the issue of unfairness. If It is my personal opinion that if the, the WEP GPO provisions are repealed, then the unfairness will go to the other side. So if you have two million people that say, this is unfair, this is unfair, this is unfair, if it's repealed, you will have 65 million people that will say, well, probably not that amount, but you'll have many, many millions of more people that will say, this is completely unfair. How come they get such a high replacement value, but we don't, right? So the unfairness will go the other way and there will be a giant movement on the other side to repeal or bring back the WEP. This is, again, this is my personal opinion, but um, I base it on uh, my experience and actually um, dealing with the uh, provision for the last 20 years. Comment. All right. So let's get into the calculations of how exactly Social Security determines your benefit amount. So um, Social Security converts your lifetime earnings into what's called AMI, Averaged Indexed Monthly Earnings. So those are indexed to uh, the wage growth. So uh, those are the high 35 years. So Social Security sums the entire indexed earnings in the high 35 years of earnings and divides by 420. So 420 months. So for instance, if someone earns $50,000 wage index dollars each year for 35 years, they would have an average indexed monthly earnings of $4,166.67. Your averaged indexed monthly earnings would be the 4166 Okay, so you've got that averaged indexed monthly earnings. But now Social Security uses a PIA formula to convert your averaged indexed monthly earnings to a monthly benefit amount. So they say, okay, this person, their averaged monthly income for over 35 years is around $4,000. So the replacement value for your monthly social security check is X amount, right? So social security is going to replace a certain percentage 
of that $4,100 or so, right? There are uh, several bin points, 90% of the first bin point, 32% of the second bin point, and 15% of the third bin point. So a bin point is, it changes every year. So basically the first bin point uh, for 2023, for 2023 is $1,115. The second is $6,721. Okay, so those are the dollar figures. So pretty much the first $1,115, you get 90% um, replacement value. And that's kind of where the WEP comes in, is that on the, on the second part, you get 32% from, so basically from $1,115 to $6,721, you get... 32%. That's the second bin point. Okay. And then after that, over $6,721, you get a 15% replacement value. So all of those equal up. That's why the lower income workers receive a higher replacement value. But for people that are not in that, the percentages add up to a certain replacement value in total. And that's where WEP comes in people that don't pay into social security because they have non-covered earnings don't have those high social security earnings. So they just get the 90%, which was intended for low income wage earners. And I'll give you an example of uh, a couple of uh, uh, public servants that paid into social security and one that did not pay into social security. Hopefully it'll come a little bit more clear on uh, why this was started. Again, you can debate uh, again, repealing WEP, um, I personally don't think it's going to happen. Uh, if it does, then there's going to be a massive movement to say, okay, how come they get, you know, such a high percentage of replacement earnings and we don't. Um, but you can always uh, make the argument that, okay, the, you know, the pinpoint should be a little bit lower, the, you know, the, the, the number should be a little bit higher or whatever the case may be. You can play around with the edges, but the, 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 the WEP GPO, um, provision in and of itself in total, um, I believe personally, and, and a lot of people believe, and obviously Congress and politicians believe because they haven't repealed it, they believe it is fair. But uh, I guess the, uh, um, the union lobbyists and for the, the states uh, continue to, to push and, I don't know, give us money so we can go to, go to Washington and, and per push your agenda. And, you know, I don't know if it's, Anyway, I won't commentate on that too much. Here are some calculations that I think will uh, um, hopefully bring all of this into relief if we compare um, apples to apples and oranges to oranges. Okay, so here is a uh, PIA to Amy replacement rates for three hypothetical workers in 1956, okay? All right, so all three of them, made $50,000 a year, average index monthly earnings, okay? Um, as you can see, worker A had non-covered employment. Workers B and C did not, okay? All right, so the, the big one is to look at is kind of A and C. Um, so worker A and C, let's say they're both police officers. One worked in a state that did not cover uh, that has a non-covered pension and C works in a state that paid into social security. So they both work 35 years. They both earn $50,000 a year. And, but if you look at the very bottom, C gets 44% replacement rate. Okay. So 44% of what they earned per month, averaged index monthly earnings, they get 44% replacement rate. But if you look at work A, they get 54%. Okay. Why did they get 54%? Well, again, because the bin point, the calculation is weighted to low income wage earners just like B. B is a low income wage work earner. 
you know, they, they worked 20 years, but uh, for 15 years, they were out of the workforce. So they've got, you know, 15 years of zeros. So their, um, their total earnings for their entire life, you know, is the, the million dollars there. Um, so, but they've, you know, a low uh, a benefit amount. So they're only going to get, you know, you know, just over a thousand dollars a month. So Congress again decided that okay, those people need a little bit of help, so we're gonna give you a little bit extra. Therefore, that person is gonna get fifty-four percent replacement value. But the person right next to them is, you know, made close to twice the amount over their lifetime. And they have another pension, obviously, through the, the state, and you know, hopefully they have another pension through the state and everything. And that's why they didn't, you know, play with Social Security because they had another pension agency, another pension uh, um, benefit program. So the person it, it B, 54% because they're low income wage earners and A, 54%, but they're not low income wage earners. They're exactly like C. So this, uh, I, I think this kind of these calculations, if you see these calculations, I, I presented these to, to many people. And once they saw the, the, the actual calculations, then they say, okay, all right. So um, yeah, that's not fair. Again, if... Um, the WEP provision is repealed, then A will get that 54%. Right now with the WEP, again, in, in, until you actually start receiving that WEP, you can get 54%. But once you, once you start receiving that, that WEP pension, that non-covered pension, then your, your percentage, your replacement rate will be reduced again that's not so I, you know it's you, the other people could argue well that's not fair because they will eventually get it but until you actually receive it you're going to get a higher replacement rate once you've finally told social security that okay i'm going to start getting a pension it's going to start this month it's going to be this amount then then social security does the calculations and again you can debate the calculations on how much you know uh, OSHA, it, it shouldn't be that much or you know that's that's a debate that uh, you can definitely have um, but in total, should someone that makes $1.75 million in one state get more replacement value than another police officer in another state only gets 44% replacement value? Why should there be a 10% increase there? That's not fair to the cop, you know, in, uh, in the covered pension state. All right. Uh, again, this uh, the, this first bend point factor of ninety percent. Uh, so again, everybody gets ninety percent unless you are in a non covered pension. Um, if you're receiving a non covered pension, then um, it really depends on how many years of coverage, yaks, as we used to call it in Social Security, years of coverage. Um, and again, substantial years of coverage. There's, a, um, I'll put a a chart up there and exactly what a, a year of coverage is for a particular year. Um, but if you have 30 years of coverage, that way you paid into Social Security, you, know, you worked at, uh, you know, you worked as a, as a cop in a particular place and uh, you didn't pay in a pension, but you, you know, you also did private security at night and you paid into Social Security there and you have, you know, 29 years of coverage under Social Security, then the first bend point uh, um, is, the, the factor is, is 85%. Um, so you're not being, you know, your, your benefit amount is not being reduced. Again, I hate to use the word penalized again, touchy words. I'm going to get so many dislikes and so many terrible comments, but it is what it is. Um, if you have fewer than 20 yaks, then your uh, first bend point factor again is, is 40%. Again, you can, you know, hire your lobbyists and say, you know, for 20 fewer or less, it should be 45% or 50%. You can play around with the, uh, the percentage factor. Eventually, uh, the whole WEP um, uh, provision will go away naturally. Um, it, it could go away tomorrow, actually. If the federal government mandated all states and municipalities and counties demanded them, passed a law that said, you will notify Social Security how much you paid into this, uh, you know, you paid this person and the pension, all, you're going to give Social Security all the information going back to 
you know, day one, back to the 1960s, before 1980s. You know, Social Security is good from basically the 1980s for the most part. But as of tomorrow, you are going to notify Social Security of everything. And then Social Security, you know, it take them a while to update their computer system and, you know, build an algorithm and whatever the case may be, the calculation. And then when the letters go out and when you go on to mysa.gov, it'll give you the correct amount. So there will be no more WEP anymore because it, the benefits, Social Security will have all the information, so they'll be able to give the correct benefit amount to you. So until that happens, then we're going to have to suffer through this uh, this this WEP provision. And uh, that's all I've got to say about that. Um, I apologize uh, for being blunt, uh, but a couple of uh, decades of experience. Uh, I was in a in a uh, uh, a state that has WEP, so I've dealt with it for a couple of decades. I've talked to thousands and thousands of people that have been WEPed and GPO'd, and and uh, pretty much I've you know w once I've explained it to them, there are people obviously that uh, you know. Um, have believed one thing for decades and you can't tell them anything different um, because it's ingrained in them. But once I kind of explained it in a relatively simple way, um, once I explained it, then uh, they've kind of accepted it um, or tolerated it, I guess is perhaps a, a better word. Um, but, uh, yeah, so comment below, um, like dislike, uh, this will be my most controversial, uh, videos. Um, please check out all my other videos. They're not as, uh, opinionated and in your face and, uh, obnoxious as this one. Uh, hopefully some of the other ones, uh, you and your family can benefit from, um, uh, please share, subscribe, um, or hate on me in the comments down below, but uh, I'm just telling you my, my personal opinion. These are my personal opinions based on the research I've done and, and talking to thousands of people. And uh, um, so that's all I've got to say about that. Um, if you want me to uh, discuss anything else, um, just put it in the comments and I'll make another little video. And uh, you know, there's a whole much more about WEP and GPO and I didn't go into really GPO. I just wanted to go into kind of the the kind of the philosophical, financial, political undertones and overtones of uh, the, the whole provision in and of itself and uh, try to uh, express, you know, the, the reasoning behind it. And I, I think the comparison between, uh, you know, a police officer in, in one state and another state, I think that hopefully will bring that home. Um, but uh, um, that's it. Um, Make sure you subscribe, uh, like, comment, and uh, have a beautiful day, and we'll see you next time.